All right, we're back again. My last video was all about, all a rant, so I'm gonna actually try to give you some substance. Um, a lot of the comments were talking about my bus. Didn't even show you the last rally. Um, let's get in here. This is the only rally they hit me with all weekend, even though I was camping on their server. I'm still ranting. Let's get over it. All right, so let's take a look. Looks like I think there were only two, maybe three people in here. And uh, what do we got? Four hundred million to one hundred sixteen million. No wonder they would only hit me once, right? Only one person brave enough, and then they must blackball you on their server. So let's see what they got for buffs. Twenty five hundred range buff, and uh, my debuff is well over a thousand. So. I'm happy with that. I can do better. I, I'm working on it all the time. I can show you something I did since this to improve it. Um, but let's focus on uh, what they sent. It was only a two-person rally. And uh, I don't know what this pretty little Elsa banner is. It's, uh, that's all I see there. It's, 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 I'm not knocking it. It's cute, but it looks like Elsa. Uh, so Douglas, so it's a range. And... Um, we cleaned it out. I'll just scroll through it in case you want to see something. Looks like they sent four tiers of range. That's different. And the first guy sent T14s and one, two, three. So that's a pretty good March size. It looks like they like to have a little bit in that, that T11 range. Um, that's a little different. Oh, they go already on a T10. That's about it. That's uh, interesting. To say the least, uh, you want to see my troop build? I think I'm thin at the top. I didn't have a lot of mounted troops. They all die. So if if you don't remember or you haven't watched all my videos, I come into SVS with like 1.7 billion T14 calves. I will take my bunker and I'll fill it. I'll put it on 12 hours, and I'll fill it. And I have an embassy officer who is fully maxed because I took him up to the required 1,400 whatever category it needs, and then I put all, like, big gear on him, just like you would to uh, uh, get <laughs> to open up... Uh, uh, I forget that accomplishment where you need to get your generals above like five and a half, three over five and a half million. You take the gear and you swap it around. That's what I did with the guy here so that I can always put 700 away. I put them away and then I go and I fill up my hospital with T1 and then I kill off almost all my calves that are remaining and they go to the holy place and I lose like 400,000 calves, but I can heal another 400,000 calves after SVS. I do that just so I don't have to ghost. And that makes me very flexible. I don't get caught with my pants down. Um, if I need to hit somebody, I can clear my bunker and use those calves. So um, I may build back those 400,000 T14s, and I might just leave them, leave them out for now. I don't really need to destroy any big monsters at this point. Uh, I do like them for barbs, but uh, barbs are over. So um, that was that rally. The other, uh, this was just a solo. Um, if you want to see what a siege bomb attempt looks like, um, I don't think I was ghosting any siege. Let's just take a look at the buffs first. So their siege buffs were only 1,200. So, I mean, look at my siege buffs are way better than theirs. And we'll take a look at where some of my buffs come from. We've tried to do that before, but I'll I'll try to show you again. So my siege attack debuff is well over, you know, their half. If you look at my bottom stat on the right, on the left, my attack is minus 640. That's exactly half of their attack at the very top right of eight, uh, 1280. So we don't, we can't see my max siege attack debuff from this stat here so i would expect already just by looking at 1280 that it's not a very good siege attack but 
this person probably has numbered stats on their general gear. So if we look at their generals, we're not going to be able to see it, but if we look at their generals, Patronus, oh, I can't see if it's, it's only 5.2 million, so I'd, it's probably not fully awakened. Can I see that anywhere? Can't I see that here? Summary. That's only one star. But I'd be willing to bet that their gear has whole numbers on the siege. And that's something I'm trying to, and I haven't tested it out yet at all on my account. But if you're going to... Let's look at what the attacker said. It'll make a little more sense. You see how they aren't sending T14 siege? They just got 100. Just 100 T13. Now when you get to T12, they ac actually sent some. Excuse me. So when you get lower down in your tiers, the more the numbers help. So, um, and it can't be debuffed. So this person's probably smart enough to know that I have probably 2,000 attack debuff for my siege. So why keep building percentages on your siege gear when you can just do whole numbers and I can't debuff it? So that's what it looks like. This looks like they sent T11s, T12s. Um, again, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that T11 and T12 have the same attack distance. They're not as good as a 13 through 14. Um, I think a 16 might even be the same. Uh, if I've been watching my own videos, I would know that. Um, but I forget. So regardless, a T10 will have a less of a range. So... That's why they did the T11s and T12s. But every attack is different. So sometimes it pays to send like T7 Siege. Just because they will fight the same uh, tier and then they'll work up to down from there. So if you see somebody that's got a bunch of T7 Siege, you might as well send T7 Siege at them. Right? Why send Big Siege and you're going to lose the power exchange? So that's what this person's doing. So let's take a look. Um... I won the power exchange pretty significantly. Let's take a look at my troops. So my T14 siege did pretty good. Um, I did lose some, but remember, they only sent 11 and 12. So if they're killing T14, that that's not bad for them. Um, it necessarily wasn't a successful attack, but they had the right principle. Um, that's why I don't like to have too much big siege. If I would have had really big siege layers, they may have won the power exchange. Potentially. They really didn't wipe out all mine, so I'm not quite sure how that how that would have worked out for them. But you can see as you go down, I mean well, let me look at my C my twelve again. So they got I don't know, thirty percent of my T twelve and uh not quite thirty percent of my T eleven. I would say that's closer to 20, 22%. I'm not a mathematician. But uh, after that, they didn't really do anything. I don't see any any damage on my right side here, so they aren't getting any points all the way down. Oh, there we go. My T4, they definitely hit those. They were in range first. So nothing too exciting, but I just wanted to let you guys look through my reports. Um pretty sure you've seen enough buffs i mean this this this, this we don't need to look at that one um do you want to see any more buffs i'll just let you view them real quickly again um they had the 25 100 range attack which is very decent but now we're looking at my side i want to know where some of my buffs come from and we've scrolled through my account and i will let you take another look at it um I don't get a whole lot from Blazons. Especially we want to see where I'm getting my siege attack from. You know, my my set bonus here is only 10% defending siege attack. So not a whole lot. Here's some of my Blazons here. Um, get a little bit of attack. That siege machine attack on monsters is worthless. I'll redo this Blazon. I'll... I'll send it into something else. What I'll do is I'll I'll switch this one out 
see, I don't even have anything else. Um, so what I'll do is I'll I'll switch it out, and then I'll try to get a third stat. You see where that gold star is there? I'll try to get uh, another siege attack, either siege attack or defending attack. So this one is not worth building anymore. But just wanted to roll through here, and uh, here is my other attack core, or uh, blazon. <laughs> and it's Siege Machine Loan is my bonus, so not, not worth building. Can I change it out? Nope. So um, I don't have any blazons to swap out. I do have probably maybe 100 blazons chest, but just just we're just trying to find out where some of my my attack stats are coming from so um oh great i need a tutorial tutorial so this one here defending siege machine hp is pretty good but then the in rally siege machine hp it's not good i won't build this core this blazing anymore but i will leave it cuz i'm getting pretty nice buffs in the other three areas uh, not a priority for me to change that one out. So I don't think we looked at my uh, buffs from these champions. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look here. So I've mastered a level 5 at the top where I'm getting 100% reinforcement capacity. I just finished that one before SBS. That's pretty cool, but I never get fully reinforced. So... Someday I might use that. Uh, level 4 enemy troop attack, minus 13. That's pretty good because, again, that's 13 times 4 is 52. Um, so I'm getting 52% of, of, of enemy attack debuff there. In city troop defense and HP is 20, 28%. So I'm getting that times 4. That's uh ninety six percent, you know. So that that's pretty good, but we're we're looking for siege machine attack, and down on the bottom I get in city troop attack. I'm getting forty percent, and uh, that's uh, one hundred and sixty percent overall. That's a pretty gosh darn good uh, Helen boost there. So Elizabeth, I thought this was gonna be a quick video. In city range troop and siege machine defense and HP for the top one. Um, we're, I'm just going to focus on where I'm getting my siege attack from. That's where you guys seem to be the most enamored. Um, I, I almost think I'm getting more attack on defense than I get on offense. So um, we could probably take a look at that pretty quickly and, just, and see if that's true. Um, I'm just reading down these. That the third one down, the level three increased single time revival troop during uh, server war. I like those. That saves me on soul. And uh, right now I have a good amount of soul because people are afraid to attack me. But when I get zeroed, I need it. So I do appreciate that stat quite a bit. Um, in city range troop attack, 10%. Surprised it's only level one for level 13 and that would be the next thing to upgrade so um you know for 2.4 million i could probably see working on that right now my bot is set up to automatically upgrade this chick every day so i don't have to do it again i should make a video on body now that i don't care if they ban me um let's uh take a look over here Top skill is in city grounded mounted troop defense and HP, which is really important to me because that's my wall. That's the first thing that gets hit, and that's what has to hold up the enemy so that I can kill it. I do not want it to get past my ground or mounted troop. Uh, so I want as much of defense and HP as I can on those guys. Uh, next one down, enemy, enemy, enemy range troop and siege machine HP. Enemy range troop and siege machine defense. In city ground troop attack, which I do like. I do like ground troop attack uh, for defense because, again, that's the first thing to hit the wall. So if somebody hits me with ground, I want to kill as much as I can with my ground layer, and I don't want my ground layer to die. And my, my siege and my range will just kill it off without taking any damage. The ground will take damage. So we've seen enough of her. 
go to this chicken ironclad. How am I supposed to tap her cooter when she's wearing all that iron? All right. In city troop attack, which is great. <sighs> you guys know what that is now. Um, sometimes I turn it off for my videos, but I don't always remember. Uh, it's a good timer for me, though. If it happens twice, I have it set up every 10 minutes to kick me. And uh, if it happens twice, then I know it's a 20-minute video and I need to shut up. So, uh, no, that's not where we are. Ironclad Cooter Chick. Second one down, enemy troop and mounted troop HP. I love it, but that's not what we're looking for. Uh, enemy, or excuse me, increase single time. I love that, but that's not what we're after. In city mounted troop defense. I love that. But it's not even active. I haven't even hit the level one yet. Interesting. So the next one would open that up, and I would need 1.8 uh, million points. This trick here had some good buffs. In city ground troop and mount troop defense and HP. I love it. It's not what we're looking for. Enemy range troop and siege machine attack. It's just 6% for level two, but I will take it. Um, but that doesn't show me why my defense, my siege attack is higher than my range attack. That's really what we're looking for. Where does that come from? Uh, troop attacks on monsters. Great. No, I don't care. Um, in city mounted troop attack. Not even active yet. I'm only at number seven. And I did hear that there's another one coming out. I thought it was coming out this weekend. I thought Genghis said that. Um, I didn't see it. So, yeah. You know, maybe I'm not the best study, and maybe it did come out. I think I would have found that if it did. So that's where some of those buffs come from. Um, I don't think I've showed you my wall. Yeah, we looked at my wall, Dragon. Um, again, if you aren't watching all my videos, 90% of my defense is flat refines. And uh, if you look here, I still have Siege on here. Hmm. That surprises me. Um, so I still have a, a bunch of siege attack, but it's flat. That means that all my layers, especially my lower layers, are are getting a bunch of attack, and they can't debuff it. Um, I guess in a perfect world, I would have got all gold mounted troop attack. Maybe I'll change that over. Um, I don't know if it really matters, because my siege just does a ton of killing. Um so I, I don't think that's too poor. Obviously, my biggest troop account is that mounted troop layer. But I'm thinking about dropping that mounted troop layer so people will attack me more often. But here's the ring. Um, Choreo Bracers. I do I did re-go through here and add a bunch of mounted troop flats. Um, but this is this is the core of your defense is to, to do mounted troop flats on everything else. So... Uh, I'll just rifle through here. Here are the, the leg armor, all mounted troop HP. That makes that wall really tough to get through. Again, all mounted troop HP, pretty good rolls. I've been spending on those. At least I had spent a lot to get there. Um, these are all gold as well, mounted troop defense. And uh, here's some more mounted troop defense. I wonder if I could beef this one up a little bit. Max is 724, and I got a 720 and a 703. Those are pretty good. That's 619, or that's 617 on top. If I really want to get greedy and try to get some more, but expect to send, spend 600 to a million gems, 600,000 to a million gems trying to get that thing up to 700. Um, so I don't know if that's quite worth it, especially as much as I've neglected my my attack PV, PvP generals. So, um, oh, dragon. Can we see it from here? We can. Mounted troop HP. I got one attack and the rest are HP. And you'll see they're all gold. So there's a little bit of room, a little bit of meat on the bone on a, on a couple of those, but not much. I mean, those are pretty good rolls. The top one again, 185, 1,085. I could try to get a couple more HP. I don't know that's worth it. Um, I'm sure if it was more endgame, we'd worry about that. But uh, 
Let's look at uh, talents. So this is where I get bonus siege machine attack. So I got siege machine attack of 37% and the defense is beefed up. So this is a difference here. This is why my siege machine attack might be higher than my range attack is because of this guy. Now let's look at the middle one, the magic shield. Boom. Uh, I get another 65%. So I'm just going to toggle through them. About a 100% siege machine attack right there. So that's where some of it's coming from. So let's go back to a report. And let's peek at these here. PvP. Truth buffs. My buffs we're looking at. I got almost 1780 range troop attack. And only 1440 range troop attack. So, again, I'm not a mathematician, but that looks about 340% more attack. And we've accounted for 100 of that. So now we're looking for 240% attack. Um, I bet I know where a bunch of it's coming from. This guy is my wall, or my assistant wall general. So, I do have range troop attack and siege machine attack on him so that's wiped out but if we look at his skill book in city troop attack and an additional 35 percent siege machine attack all right so there's 35 percent that brings us down to almost 300 percent let's take a look at some of these specialties siege machine attack 10 percent. that really gets us down to 300 percent. i think it's actually 295 now um We'll call it 300 because it wasn't quite 100 on my wall dinner, on my uh, dragon. So 300% we're looking for. Let's look at the second specialties. That's no difference. There's 10%, so now we're down to 280. In city range troop and siege machine attack, there's no difference there. And then the final skill book is all equal. And that one is maxed. But I really like that all troop attack 500. That's not a percentage. That puts it right to the bottom line to all my to my T1 wall and all my smaller troops. Um, so that's that. Let's take a look at this guy. I'd be surprised if I was just gonna say if any of this was siege. And there you go, there's siege right on the first first specialty. Uh, hospital capacity, which I do like. Mounted troop, siege machine attack. So we're down to 280. The third one is hospital capacity, which I like. You guys probably don't give a crap. And the last one, again, is another uh, battle test. This one is not maxed. It's very close, but it is not maxed. Skill books, mounted troop attack, which really doesn't do me a whole lot because I don't even have any mounted troops left. You guys could see it. They aren't doing anything. Be better to do. Let's see what else I got on here. Range troop range, siege machine range. Those are a must. And uh, let's look at a skill book here. Any range in there, I'd be shocked. I don't see anything that's specifically siege. Um, it's hard to focus on everything I'm blabbering at the moment. Uh, let's go back to this guy. We counted for that. Oh, I was looking at skill books. So siege machine attack that I definitely want. Range troop, I definitely want that attack. And then my last one is mounted troop speed. I don't know if I want that. I was told it doesn't do anything. So I could probably put ground troop attack, a ground troop attack skill book. I probably should also do like a mount or like a ground troop defense or HP. Why would I? I mean, a percentage does nothing for my T one wall. So if I don't have a lot of mounted troops left, I guess I should just beef up my ground layer. 
Maybe we'll have to go through and look at some of those. Um, I wonder if any of these... Oh, yeah, I suppose we should look at gear. <laughs> Seize machine attacks. There's 50%. Right on the weapon. Siege machine attack. There's 25%. We're getting down to t almost 200 already. Range troop and siege. Siege machine attack. There's another 34%. Now we're well below 200. I'm going to say we're at 180 that we're looking for. Range troop attack 34. So that brings us back to like... This is bad math. I'm just flying. 205 we'll say. No, no difference there. This is where I was, yeah. And then on the ring, 34, so we're back down to like 180. And the siege machine attack range. That's huge on this on this on the ring. You definitely want that. Don't grab the even if you're just using Acumenity gear, there's a good ring and a wrong ring to use. You need the one that has say, uh, siege range attack. It's a must, according to all the experts. Look at us. Yeah, the refines. So we're still missing 180, but we're getting close, right? Um, what else would I be missing? I know there are things. You guys always tell me, and I always forget. So let's, uh, let's look at my duty officers. That's going to tell us a lot. So this is just hospital, 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 healing speed, capacity, in city range, troop, and siege. So that's equals out. And I'm looking at the fourth star now or the ninth star, whatever you want to call it. So the bottom one gives me 10% attack. That gives us, that gets us down to 170%. Man, if you guys haven't tuned out by now, um... Uh, I'm just looking for that extra siege machine attack and where it's coming from because you guys comment about it a lot. In city, in city troop, in city troop, in city troop. No difference on him. Although I'm happy to fully ascend him. He's new for me. I just want K35, so I couldn't use him before. Um, let's look at this. Ground troop. I love the ones that do ground troop and mounted troop defense. I'd rather do those than siege and machine HP and defense uh, it just works better in my brain to protect my front line even though I know when it gets siege bombed you really need that range and siege HP because it'll kill your siege and then go to your range so uh, you definitely want that for siege bombs but for general PvP I really want to beef up that wall that first line of defense I should say uh, I'm just looking for any difference between siege and range? I'm not seeing it. No difference on him. Let's go to one Paul. This one actually goes the opposite direction, meaning there's 10% more range attack at the last final st star, and that's all time attack. So that works for me on offense too, and when I'm reinforcing. Uh, I don't see anything that's just siege specific. Let's take a look at uh, Askia. Askia? I don't know his name. Ground. And city ground. And mountain and ground and mountain. Ground and mountain. And the final one is all time. I don't know. In city. Just in city only on the ground troop and mountain troop. So that one does not help on attacking. Some of these do, as you saw. Like this guy. Ground, 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 mounted, mounted, mounted. And then on the bottom one, ground, ground troop attack 10%. That's all time. That's anywhere that's reinforcing, attacking, blah, blah, blah. You've heard me say it a million times. Non-qualified. And that comes from John Wick's YouTube channel, by the way. Mounted troop. Ground and mounted, ground and mounted, ground and mounted, ground and mounted. So 
these duty officers. I thought one of these were going to help us more with siege, and they don't. So I think this guy, yeah, the bottom star, the 10th star, if you will, um, that'll get you siege machine attack. Also, it's not qualified. Look it up. Um, I've told you I wanted to, I want to, I want to fully ascend this guy and stick him in my archer tower. Hey, we're out of 20 minute video. <laughs> All right. I, I'm not quite sure where else to look for some of that siege attack. It's got to be research, huh? I mean, do you guys really want to look through my academy? That would take way too long. Um, it's complete for a K-35, but I don't think there's any more siege attack than there is anything else, right? 70, oh, that's, that's, that's debuff. 40% to 40%. So, I mean, there's no difference on the research. Yeah, this training stuff, I don't care about training capacity. That's just a convenience thing. Everything that I need is done. There's very little that isn't. So, um, I don't know. We're still missing, like, I think we're at 180% siege machine attack. And I don't wear siege gear. Um... I've thought about it. Like, if there's an incoming siege bomb, I should switch to my siege gear. I don't always remember that. But, oh, you know where I bet some of it's coming from. The art hall? Well, it wouldn't be the art hall. It would be the civilization glory. I might be getting some of it. Would it not tell me the buffs that come with it? Well, that's silly. Okay. Focus. We tried to do this last time and I struggled. Would they even show it here? <laughs> when you open these fame treasures? Oh, why did it jump there? Um, hmm. This happened to me last time I tried to show you where these buffs are because I'm not getting all of them because I know this is great video. Stop yelling at me. Uh, General Hall, I'm only missing two. This one is Ocean Master, and I'm missing this one. And you get your buffs. Hmm. I always struggle with this. Um, this happened last time I tried to find it for you guys. Art hall, art treasures, art treasures, jeez. All right, so these are the two I'm missing. I can get more in-city troop HP, which I definitely want. It's only 5%, but I'll take it. Um, but I don't think I can get that unless I get my wings, my uh, bat wings. Um, and this one here, I would need to get that general. So the buffs on this one would be some ground troop attack, and it's non-qualified. So yeah, I want that. And oh, I got an open one. Look at that. On the bottom here. In-city siege machine attack. I'm going to get more. Oh, I'm just upgrading it here to 50. So I must have got enough scrolls to qualify this. This was already open. I'm just upgrading it to 50. So I'm getting another... 18% Siege Machine Attack, Defense, and HP in the city. Click. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm sure there's a range one. Do we really want to go through these? 
That's marching. Ground troop attack. Incident ground troop. So maybe that's a difference. I mean, that's 50%. That would get me down to 130% missing. I would really have to go through all these. See, here's a range one. I'm only getting 25%. So I already lost my math. So we're about 150%. Of range troop missing. I mean, of, of siege troop attack missing. See, this video is painful. You guys wanted videos. I'd be surprised if anybody's still watching. Not you. You're always watching. You're not even listening. All right. So, have I bored you enough? 20 minute video. Do we want to look through and see if there's anything else? Where else do you get your attack from? Your defensive attack. I guess we'll just take a look at some of my details here. Military. Those are my subsidies. Oh, that just glitched on me. Military. See, these are just flat, right? These are just flat stats. Then we get to our ground troop attack. Mounted troop attack is higher. No, that's the range. And a siege machine attack is lower than my range troop attack. But now this is just general attack, not in city. But that, to me, is interesting that I'm behind by... 45, 46%. Oh, way more than that. Well, let me look here. I'm looking at... I'm looking at this stat and comparing it to this stat. I don't know if you guys can always follow me around when I'm just rattling off stuff. But I'm surprised that my siege machine attack is so much... Lower than my range troop attack. That's just a general buff. So we'll keep looking. Now we're looking at it. Marching. We don't care about that. We're talking about defense. In city. I'm going to put the range troop attack at the top. It's 586. And my in city siege machine attack is 835. I need to circle that for you guys too. Obviously we did the top one. And then in city siege, we're trying to figure out where my siege is so much higher than my range. That's what are, where a lot of the comments come from. So that just tells us what the reports are reading. Where is it coming from? Hmm. I'm showing you guys everything now. Hmm. I don't know. You guys always come up with stuff and, and remind me what I'm forgetting. You're going to have to do it again. What else do I need to show you? Otherwise, piece my two video videos together and maybe you'll figure it out. Um, I think I've blabbered enough. I really don't know what else it could be coming from. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I definitely don't think it's my blazons. I mean, we looked at my blazons are okay, but my range troop blazons are the same. It's actually favored. The set bonus favors range. And, uh, I mean, my blazons are better on my range gear than on my siege, potentially. I mean, that, I would say they're a wash between the set bonus and the, and the blazons. I don't think I'm getting any, any range attack out of this. Just looking through the other set bonuses. Um, yeah, uh, I mean... We can look at the set bonuses 
on my civilization gear on my wall general. Did we look at the set bonuses? All troop attack. All troop attack. In city ground and mounted. Enemy troop attack. Yep. Your guess is as good as mine. We're missing about 150% siege buff. We got pretty close. If you wanted to know where my buffs are coming from, you got a pretty good idea of, of what to do, what to copy, what to look at. Um, I guess we're going to leave it at that. I'll post this video right away and do two videos today since I haven't done any in so long. My motivation just hasn't been there. So uh, keep the comments coming. It helps me figure out what to do next. So we'll leave it at that. Take care, guys.